Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 6 we are working on lesson number 6 and that means that we are investigating patterns in vertical and horizontal lines and we're interpreting points on the plane as distances from those axes. So let's take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's homework. There are about four long problems on tonight's homework with many different parts. Um, and I don't think it's really helpful for me to do any one of those problems completely. So what I'm going to do is do a couple of parts of each of the first three problems and then leave the rest of it for you. So let's take a look. First, we're going to look at problem number one. We are going to plot and label the following points on the coordinate plane. Well, that's first off. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Where would the point C be? Let's see. It it is at four tenths and four tenths. I got to look at my get oriented here. I can see my graph over here, my coordinate plane. I know that this is my x-axis. In fact, I might actually go ahead and remind myself that that's an x-axis and up here is a y-axis. And let's see, that first point C is at 4 tenths and 4 tenths. So let's see, let me count that out. Oh, it looks like, oh, I see each of these boxes looks like it's in tenths. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4 tenths. So that's the x-axis dimension. And then let's see, the other part is, oh, also 4 tenths. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to go ahead and, and take my black dot and say that this point right there is point C. That's at 4 tenths, 4 tenths. Now let's see, we've got to do another one. So point A is at 1 and 1 tenth and 4 tenths. So let's see, 1 and 1 tenth and then also 4 tenths. So that must be right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get my dot there and that is point A. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see. What's our third point? Let's see. Point S is at 9 tenths, 5 tenths. So let's see. Where is 9 tenths? 9 tenths would be out, not all the way to 1. It would be right here. 9 tenths and then 5 tenths up. Oh, that's right. That one's easy because, right, 5 tenths. 5 tenths is definitely labeled already. So 9 tenths, 5 tenths would be right there. So let me get my black pencil again and I'm going to mark that as point S. Right. That's 9 tenths. 5 tenths. And then finally point T also starts off at 9 tenths on the x-axis, but this time it goes up to 1 and 1 tenth. So 9 tenths, 1 and 1 tenths would be way up there. So let's go ahead and get that. That spot is T. Awesome. Now that we've got our points, we can do some things. Uh, let's see, we're supposed to, the next direction is once we get to 1A, use a straight edge to construct line segments CA and ST. CA and ST. Let's see. This is C, and this is A, and we're supposed to have a line segment C, A, and S, T. Okay, well, I need to get my line tool out, and I'm going to draw a line out here. I have to do mine a little differently than you have to do yours, because I have to kind of match it up here. And I've got a line segment that joins C, A, and S, T. I'm going to move that just a little bit right there. Excellent. C, A. There's one of them, and I need another one that goes from S to T, so I'm going to do one that's here, and I'm going to move that into place, S, T, it goes right along there. Awesome. So let's see, did I do that correctly? Use a straight edge to construct line segments C, A, yep, from C to A, and S, T, from S to T. Ha! I think I got it. All right, now let's go to 1B. Name the line segment that is perpendicular to the x-axis and, and parallel to the y-axis. Well, let's see. Perpendicular to the x-axis. Which one of these lines is perpendicular to the x-axis? I'm going to pause and think about that for a sec. I think perpendicular means that it would run into the x-axis at a right angle. And I think that's this line segment, right? If we can imagine this line segment coming down and hitting the x-axis, it would hit it at a right angle. It would form a right angle here and a right angle here. And that would make sense because the that same line segment is supposed to be parallel to the y-axis. And I think that that's true, right? This line, ST, and the y-axis are parallel. So I think this would be line segment ST. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. ST, and then our, our notation is we write a little line across the top, right, to indicate that that's the line segment. I got that. I copied that idea from right here. Awesome. Well, I'm going to leave you guys to answer C, D, and E if you were assigned that by your teacher. And I'm going to move on to the next problem. Problem number two. Let's look at the directions. Construct line M such that the y-coordinate of every point is 1 and 1 half. And construct line N such that the x-coordinate of every point is 5 and 1 half. Okay. Oh, boy. That's so much to digest here. 
I think, let's think through. Let's do the first line first. Line M, such, as the, such that the Y coordinate, that's this coordinate, of every point is 1 and 1 half. So what would it mean if for the Y coordinate to be 1 and 1 half? Well, there's 1 and 1 half. I guess it means that it would just go all the way out, right? Every point on that line, no matter how far out an X it would be, every point, if we made a line here, every single point would have a Y coordinate of 1 and 1 half. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get my line tool and draw it out, and then I'm gonna move it into place. Say right there. Oops, sorry, right there. One and one half. Oh, and that's supposed to be line M. So I'm gonna go ahead and there we go. I'm gonna give that a label. Let's see if we did that right. Construct line M such that the Y coordinate, yep, of every point is one and one half. Yep, every point along here has a different x coordinate, but the y coordinate is always 1 and 1 half. I think we've done our m. Now let's construct a line n such that the x coordinate, that's the one on here, of every point is 5 and a half. Well, the x coordinate of 5 and a half would be out here, so I guess it would be a line running up and down right here, right? Every single x coordinate would be 5 and 1 half. So you know what? I'm going to take my line tool again, and I'm going to make a line here. And I'm going to put it in place here. There we go. Go ahead and give it a little label N. All right. I think that's right. The line N, such that the X coordinate of every point is five and a half. Awesome. Now, let's go on to our questions. Line M. Line M is how many units from the X axis? Well, let's see, the X axis is down here. How many units away from the X axis is M? Oh, well, that's easy, right? It's just, at every point, it's just one and a half, right? One and a half, I think. Let me see. One and one half. Line M is one and a half units from the X axis. Yeah, every single one of these points is one and a half units away. Awesome. Let's take a look at 2B. Given, give the coordinates of a point on line M, okay, a point on this line, that is two units from the Y axis. Well, let's see. Oh, here's the y-axis. So what's the point on, on M that is two units away from Y? Well, these points are too close, right? This is only one unit away. Oh, but here, if we get to this point, right, that point would be two units away. I'm going to do that in a black dot. So two units away right here. What are the coordinates of that point? Well, let's see. The x-coordinate is two. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Over here, that's 2. And the y-coordinate is, oh, all the, yeah, 1 and 1 half, right? All the points on this one have a y-coordinate of 1 and 1 half. So I think those are our coordinates. Let me see if that makes sense. We'll reread. Give the coordinates of the point on line M, yep, that is 2 units from the y-axis. Here's the y-axis, so that's 1, 2 units away from the y-axis is that point. And that point looks like it's at 2, 1 and 1 half. That's what I got. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's take a look at one more problem from tonight's homework. Problem number three. Sorry, a little, I botched the copying there. Construct and label lines E, R, S, and O on the plane below. Oh, line E is 3.75 units above the, the x-axis. Oh, let's see. So here's the x-axis, and it has to be 1, 2, 3.75 units. So I think it's got to be running right there. Let me get my line tool out. Oops. Line tool out. Too thick? I think it is. Let's try again. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do that one. 3.75. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give it arrowheads. And that was supposed to be line E, right? Let's see if we got that right. Line E, yep, right here is 3.75 units above the x-axis. One, two, three point, boom, 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 three and three quarters, or 3.75. I think we got that. Line R is 2.5 units from the y-axis. Well, there's the y-axis. Let's see. What would, what would the points be that are 2.5 units away? They'd have to be one, two, two and a half. So I guess we would be right here. So all the points along this line would be 2.5 units from the y-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and, oops. I'm going to use my line tool, not my freehand drawing version. That's going to be so terrible. Let's see. I can go ahead and move that here. 2.5. I think we got it. OK, 
give it some arrowheads, and that is point R, right? Let's see, do, let me make sure we got that. Line R is 2.1, 2.5 units from the Y axis. There's the Y axis, and this is 1, 2, 2.5, 2.5 units away. I think we got 3A and 3B done. I'm going to leave C and D of 3, as well as all of number 4 to you. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.